Pisces soul travelers, blessings and welcome to Venusian Empress Oracle. You are joining Princess Melissa and we are about to get into a weekly reading for you using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle cards. Now depending on if this comes out upright or reversed, we'll indicate a ally or challenge position for your card. We'll then look at the tarot. First, the holographic. First, we have Magician and Six of Cups energy. Immediately, I felt like somebody is trying to uh, get you back, Pisces. Maybe using some magic to get you back, as a matter of fact. All right. Somebody wants to have another go with you, it looks like. Maybe they want to give you a fair chance this time around or a fair shake where maybe they did not before is what I'm going to say with this energy. But uh, you may not be so sure with that Two of Swords energy. Okay, so that is what's coming out in the pre-shuffle. We'll see what comes out with the rest. Now, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate with you, but if they do, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notifications. And also, you can check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. And if you would like a personal reading, reach out to me at venusianways.org. Also, guys, these, um, we're going to be using the vice versa tarot to clarify the holographic tarot for your spread. We will then get out an affirmation card from our affirmator deck. So that will be some advice for you moving forward for this week. Now, we always get love messages, advice messages, if you will, from the Lover's Oracle cards. We will be doing so this week. So do stick around to the end for all of the advice, guys. And as well, we have incorporated a divination coin, guys. So get your questions ready because we are going to find out if it's yes or no for you for this week. Okay, guys, let's get into your reading, shall we? Thank you to the amazing, wonderful angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. We honor you for the messages for beautiful Pisces. Thank you. And Pisces, if I haven't already told you, you are so beautiful, but also thank you so much for all of your likes, comments, shares, donations. Definitely let me know how these messages are resonating with you in the comments. And hit the subscribe and bell notification so you don't miss any of the readings I put out. Let us see what is going on for Pisces for this week. Pisces, please, show us what we need to know. In the reverse, we have the wise woman of Wonderland. Interesting. So this energy is a 21-3 coming to integrity and compromise. Hmm. So we could be facing something that could cause us to compromise or you could be saying, no, I am not lowering my integrity and I am not compromising for anyone. <laughs> I'm no longer going down your rabbit hole, perhaps you're saying, the hungry ghost. So this could definitely be someone from the past trying to come back at this time, Pisces. This says obsessions, scarcity, con consciousness, and attachment. So this person just wants to leech on to you. For some reason, I got money immediately is what I was seeing. The dream walker dreams the collective good and illusions. So you're breaking free of any illusions is what I'm seeing with this so far. Um, you know, you're not willing to be a part of someone's illusion, if you will, or dream of what they want you to believe that they have for you or will, you know, give to you. But perhaps that's been something that has been an ongoing story with this person, which is why they're in the past to begin with. All right. So in the challenger position, when the wise woman of Wonderland appears as a challenger, this is a sign that you may have compromised yourself out of fear. Have you been in denial about the truth of your situation? Have you told yourself short rather than, sorry, excuse me. Have you been in denial about the truth of your situation? Have you sold yourself short? There we go. Rather than ask for what you really need. Ha and have you given up your dream for another because of your 
fear of abandonment. Mm, very interesting. So are you perhaps with the person that you really want to be with or are you just with them perhaps is what this card is asking because of a fear of being alone kind of energy, right? Dealing with someone else's illusions and dreams, you know, just for the sake of being with someone, which is never going to really bring us happiness. It's just going to be like a being in a, a constant roller coaster type of energy, right? The wise woman of Wonderland is gently reminding you that you count. Claim your good and never settle for less. Be fearless and make it so. Why hang around for more disappointment when wonderful adventures and opportunities are waiting to unfold for you? Definitely, if this is true for you, don't hold yourself back. It's not worth it. 555. Five, five. Major changes may be coming for you as you decide to live your dreams, you know, to be that dream walker, to live the dream, if you will, and not your dream, not someone else's, living in someone someone's past, perhaps, or a past of what you, you know, shared with this person. You know, we have shared dreams that we can have. And uh, when we talk about Alice in Wonderland, that's craziness, right? Maybe people very unbalanced that you're dealing with here, confused. That's very crazy energy to see together. So you may feel very unbalanced and very confused like Alice in Wonderland, like what is going on here? Everything seems topsy-turvy, upside down. I don't feel happy anymore about what I'm receiving. Where did everything turn into perhaps a nightmare, you know, along the way? Perhaps could even be a third-party situation with that Three of Pentacles energy. Even you considering, do you want to invest or give to this situation any longer, Pisces? On the bottom, five of swords. So definitely there's been some, um, you know, mind effing going on, if you will. Somebody, anyway. And perhaps you're tired of it. It's definitely somebody in the home, um, is what I'm getting here with that four of wands energy. Lovers. All right. This is becoming pretty clear what's going on here, right? Ace of Swords, Spirit saying that's the truth. This is all around home. This is all around someone that you are romantically connected with. And they are gassing your head up, basically, or have been, about, you know, the happily ever after that you're going to have one day, perhaps. But you keep waiting for that. In the meantime, kind of half knowing that this person is feeding you a bunch of bullshit, right? And at the same time, knowing that you're not really stuck there. But are you willing to change the situation? Or are you going to wait until this is upright and it comes down anyway? So perhaps you're being given that awareness and that opportunity right now to make a change. Because you got a lot of toxicity going on here, whatever this is. All right. Um, we did see uh, attachment somewhere. I thought I did too. Maybe not in this reading. Sorry. This is not the right opportunity to move forward with is what the chariot in reverse is saying. Never is a toxic situation going to be. It's going to continue to make you feel off. Your connection is going to be off. You know what I mean? To spirit, if you're a spiritual person, um, and you're not really going to be able to do the healing that you need to do with this person. They're constantly going to be shifting things. You're not really going to ever know what to believe. And you deserve better than that, Empress. All right, Emperor, Empress, it doesn't matter as far as male, female. But it's saying that, you know, you've got to get out of this situation, this illusion, perhaps that you've been in, that you've, you know, allowed yourself to believe you know, was something that you really were okay with, maybe not entirely happy with, but okay with, you know, four of wands, we have a king of cups and an eight of wands energy, so it's like somebody's been acting like that they're, you know, working on things, but really they're not, their heart's not in it, you know what I mean? beached whale there four of wands energy so it's like you never really see this person putting in the work 
you know, they never really seemed to want to spend time with you or that was the energy that you were dealing with and maybe you were confused, like, here I am naked, what's the deal? Why do you not want to, uh, you know, do the hanky thing? Yeah, I know that's like so old school, but anyway. <laughs> Lovers, five of swords and reverse energy, you're like, okay, do I just need to leave this situation then? What is going on here? Because... I'm definitely not very happy here with this, you know? Everything is moving so slow, like this turtle, you know, but it's like, but for what? It's like, you just can't figure it out. Ace of Swords energy, Page of Pentacles. This is you, all right? Maybe lately looking at your value and your worth and evaluating, am I really happy in this situation? Do I really feel like you know, I'm as happy as I thought I would be. Is it all seven of pentacles panning out the way I thought? You may be sitting alone a lot doing thinking about this, you know? Knight of Swords energy. It's a saying, you know, it's really important for you to be honest with yourself about if you're happy in this situation. Or do you need to leave? You know, because you don't want to get stuck in these situations forever these confusing ones when there could be so much better waiting for you out there like the cards talked about. So don't uh, settle for less, you know what I'm saying? It's like that card was saying, it's time to move to those calmer waters and stop being feeling so crazy within yourself, you know? Just turn your back on the situation. You've already got your eyes closed, might as well turn your back, right? And allow yourself to go ahead and rise and do so much better and just understand that perhaps this just wasn't the situation that was going to, you know, it was good for the time, you know, but the, you've got to choose another path is what this is saying. If you keep going down this path, it is going to end up dismantling at some point is what this is saying here, all right? Because this person is, is definitely, you know, not acting committed if you are in a commitment with them. And they may even be hiding money from you, King of Pentacles in reverse. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We do have uh, Capricorn energy with this devil as well. This person, it, it almost feels like it's uh, sabotaging you. And maybe you're not going to see it coming one day, <laughs> is what I see with this energy. You know, very toxic, whatever this situation is here. All right. You're going to have to really evaluate this. And if you uh, want to keep going on with this person, pretending like everything's good, you know, and continuing to pour your love out to them, chariot in reverse. Nine of Pentacles energy is coming out on that. It's like you're denying the path that spirit wants you to go down. You know, you don't want to be single kind of energy is what this feels like. Like it, you know, it feels better to at least be with somebody. Maybe you could feel that way. I understand that. Sometimes it, we're in a space where that is the case. But it's nothing but fairy tale, you know? Night energy. And you deserve so much more than that is what Spirit is saying. And you do too. You know that. You know you're not happy. You know you're always worried and thinking about, you know, could there be something better for me out there? But with everything going on around you, you're never able to really think that way. You're just always stuck in that energy. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see what your affirmator card is coming out for you for this week. Pisces, definitely hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification if you're resonating or you like my vibe. Let's see what's going on here for you. Okay, and we did get this card out in your spread here with the chariot, divine timing, okay? So this, you may not feel like it's divine timing for you to be single, but do you really deserve to receive less and be thrown off, right? Everything is timing, and timing is everything. Gladly, I release my concern over timing and let things happen when and as they will. I trust that the divine schedule makers know what they are doing. It can take a long time to reach divine middle management. <laughs> 
All right, so we don't have control over these situations sometimes, but at the same time, we do have um, control over when we move and how we allow these things to play out, how devastating they can be, all right, or how good they can actually work out for us when we don't resist. So if we're experiencing some toxic energies and situations around us, we, that's definitely not what we want to engage with. That brings nothing but trouble and craziness. And here we go with this card falling out for you. Perfect cycles, all right? So it says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and cause unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. All right. So instead of going with someone else's flow, go with your own flow for once and see where that leads you. You may find yourself way happier than you ever thought you could be. Also for you today, my dear, we have let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives, all right? Controlling never works. 16, 16 on the timer there, right? It has to be balanced. Equal give and take. You ready? Let's ask your question. See what the answer is. Okay, guys, what was your question? Because we got a big, woo woo, you got a yes. All right, great, Pisces. This is beautiful. I hope that was the answer that you wanted. Definitely, guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notifications. Blessings to you, and have a great week ahead. I'll see you soon, and bye for now.